Everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. I'm JT, and we're here in Photoshop today, and I wanted to show you guys how to make some really dreamy-looking, surrealistic glows that work really well, especially when you're shooting at night. And as you all know, I love shooting neon portraits, and this effect works really well with neon portraits. So we have our neon sign here with our model, and we are in Photoshop right now. And sometimes this effect is called the Orton effect, and it just adds a really awesome glow, makes your images look really dreamy. And as you know, if you've ever shot lights, especially at night, they don't always give off as much glow in camera as they may do to your eye. And sometimes you just wanna emphasize that effect. So let's get right into this tutorial. So we have our image here, and what I'm gonna start off by doing is double clicking our background layer, hitting OK, and that just gets rid of that little lock and unlocks our layer. And what I wanna do is right now I want to separate our highlights from our midtones and our shadows because our highlights are what I want to appear to be giving off the glow. And I don't wanna make our midtones or our shadows look like they're giving off a glow because that just makes your image look like it's blurry. So what we're gonna do first is duplicate our bottom layer and hit Control or Command J if you're working on a Mac and now we have two layers. And what I'm gonna do is go up to Image, hit Apply Image, and what I did for blending mode is hit Multiply. I leave all the rest of this alone. We just have our source image. They're gonna end up being a merged image, RGB channel, and opacity 100, everything else looks good, hit OK. So now we essentially have our highlights isolated and you can see our before image, our bottom layer, and our new image. And that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do is put the blend mode to screen. So putting our blend mode to screen really brightens up the lighter areas of the image. And you can see in the shadows and most of the midtones leaves them alone for the most part. Now, how do we get this to really glow? We've made it bright, let's make this glow. So we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and you can see now we've really started to make this image glow. And I usually choose in my radius roughly between 20 and sometimes I'll go all the way up to 50 or so, that's 40. If you start pushing past 100, all of it just kind of blends together as you can see in our preview window right here. And I don't think it looks all that great. So let's stick to, let's see, 27 looks good, 20, yeah, 26 looks really good. So let's hit OK. And now you can see our before and our after. And that just makes our image look so dreamy and almost like mystical, I guess is a good word to describe it. Now this effect might be way too much for you, so what you can do is you can go up to your opacity of your glow layer and you can turn down the glow. Now another thing I can do if the effect is way too strong on let's say a model or a cityscape which I don't want glowing, what I can do is mask out the areas or mask in the areas that I want to be affected. So what I'll do is I'll create a new mask on this layer and I'll hold alt, hit the mask and you can see our effect disappeared, but what we can do is we can select a white brush, hit OK, make sure we have a nice large brush, turn down the opacity just a touch, make sure our brush is nice and feathered, that looks great. And now what we can do is we can start painting in our glows. And this gives you the ultimate control here, instead of going through and erasing what you don't want, I can just more easily paint in what I do want. And I definitely want uh, some of these reflections back here to glow. I want this bokeh to have a nice glow here in the background. Having that nice feathered edge on a large brush really helps these areas that were lit up and had reflective light for my prism, really helps those areas glow. And I want the hair to have a little bit of glow, that looks good. And obviously we can go overboard with these neons because that's really the effect we're going for right here. So that looks pretty good. And you can see down here from our mask, everything is pretty much white, which means it's active and the effect is working on this image. And the opacity is 100 of this layer if it's white and it's zero if it's black. So we have this nice glow around our model and this looks pretty darn good. So there's our before and there's our after. And that just adds an extra something to your image that you're not gonna get just shooting straight at these neons. So let's try this 
in one more image. We have an image here of Spider-Man, and this is a shoot I did quite a bit ago with this neon coffee espresso sign. So we're gonna start off the same way we did with our last image, and you can either double click to unlock this layer, but if you don't want to, you can always just hit Command J, duplicate your new layer, go to Image, Apply Image, Source looks good, Layer looks good, Channel looks good, Blending Mode Multiply, hit OK, set this layer to screen, and again, just added that little bit of punch that I already like this image better. But now we're going to add our blur, Gaussian blur. 26 looks pretty good. I'm going to try bumping it up. I think 33 looks great. Hit OK. And then now I even like this little bit of glow on Spidey's little eye lenses right there. I think that looks pretty great. And again, I can always go into opacity and turn the entire effect down or I can create a mask and paint in or paint out areas that I don't want to glow. So that is basically all for this tutorial. Before we go, I wanted to say a massive thank you for all of my subscribers, everyone that watches these videos. I hit 7,000 last week. And it was absolutely awesome. I didn't plan on doing a video this weekend, but I wanted to throw one out for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this neon glow dreamy Orton effect that I like to use all the time, especially in neon portraits. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below if you can think of another great way to use this effect. It works great in landscapes as well. Hit that subscribe button and notification so you're getting all of my videos. And until next weekend, get out and go shoot.